Africa, the cradle of life. Africa Aid, my charity. I'm John, and I run Africa Aid, a charity from my front room, keeping costs low so we can help more people. We're a small team. Here are the four of us. Well, one of them doesn't work for us, but he does help out quite a bit. Africa Aid. We're not just a charity. It is highly offensive to suggest that I would fall asleep at an official meeting of my charity. I agree that it would be highly offensive, but you purposely called the meeting as a test to see who would fall asleep first. A test I passed with flying colours. Sometimes I think he knows what he's doing, but then other times... Ron said that about you. Ron? You know, Ron Davis, your old teacher. Sorry, why are you talking to Mr Davis? You didn't go to my school. Oh. We dated before I met Mike. Still see him. He brought up your career, said he expected more from you, you know. Well, I don't need to impress him. Weirdly doesn't think you're wasting your time here. Uh, Donna, could we stop wasting time and uh, yeah. have a look at the footage? Stephen. Sorry, it's very warm in here. Uh, press play. Oh, right, yes. Press play on this expensive equipment I ought to be selling instead of helping a charity yes. I don't work for. Oh, yes. Thank you again, Stephen, for helping. My pleasure, Claire. Oh. Now, let's see who sleeps with who first. I win. No, you fell asleep first. I can just tell you who falls asleep next. Yeah, so can I. It's Claire. Because I don't fall asleep. I'm at work trying to manage the outreach and development of the UK branch for multinational charity. <laughs> No, it's not so much just fall asleep. Oh, now, I beg to differ. Look at me on the video. Hmm? That's not a rebuttal. That's a damning indictment. You can't damn an indictment. <gasps> ha! You did fall asleep! Take that, you sanctimonious do-gooder! Why are you using that as a pejorative? <laughs> because you use words like pejorative. That's my pejorative. No, yours is spike-haired moron. <laughs> It'd be really difficult for that not to be a pejorative. <laughs> such is my pejorative. <laughs> Hi, darling. You have got to see these ice bucket challenges. They're so funny. Oh, they're just gimmicks. No one donates. No one knows what it's for. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a progressive neurodegenerative disease. I've donated five times. Do you know what your problem is? Too uptight. No clear direction. Well, that's not fair, either of you. You're not supposed to know this, but the company that Victoria works for is looking for a local charity to invest in, and you're on the list. Just because she lives next door? Almost certainly. Africa Aid is a boring charity and you are a bunch of boring chatters. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, we're watching some footage of their charity meeting and even they can't stay awake. I nominate Dana. To talk next. Thanks for the nomination. This charity has got to buck its ideas up and stop ducking the big challenges. You're boring and no one cares about your message. Oh, come on, that's not fair. If you look at our mission statement... That's not a rebuttal. That's a damning indictment. Hey, that's Donna's catchphrase. It's not a catchphrase, it's just something I said. <laughs> People want to feel good when they give to charity, to feel like they're a force for positivity. Look at your website. It's a bad website. And your last tweet was... Doing the admin quicker than last month. Hashtag dwindling donations. It's a bad tweet. And, uh, and, and check out your last uh, Tinder update. <laughs> Are you going to finish that joke? No, it's private. No, it's dating app. Make the charity fun or the next hashtag you'll be using is hashtag closed charity. Oh, it's not a closed charity. Miss the point. But I would like to remind you that we do accept clothing donations to send out to our supportive villages in Uganda. You heard Femi. We have one job, to make this charity fun, fun, fun. Two jobs, make the charity fun and work out which clothes you aren't meant to be wearing. I know which clothes you aren't meant to be wearing, Claire. <laughs> Is it all of them? Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, 
back in my vibrant business era. I was the number one slogan era. Uh, and now in retirement, uh, one of the few things I really love is a jolly good slogan. It's not the most reassuring start. But John's right, we do need a slogan for Africa Aid. We need to focus on having some more fun, jeez. Uh, I like dancing. I, I think bowling is fun. Is it the name things we enjoy, our? Yes, it is. Uh, let's blue sky all the things that are fun and then do that to make the charity fun. B to B, back to basic. OK, that's actually a good idea. Uh, and that should be our slogan. OK, that's actually a good idea. Wow. That's actually a really bad idea. No, 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 that's not what he said. Stephen, I... in spite of everything, you always seem to be having fun. Fancy heading this up as a consultant? Ooh. I should really focus on trying to sell all this CCTV equipment. I mean, that, that is my actual no. job. You'll be working alongside me, your good friend. I've got to sell all this CCTV. Don't do that. I accept the position. <laughs> Great. Come on. Let's prove my Mr Davis wrong. Let's make charity fun. I like reading. A week start. Who likes writing things down? I do. All right, I should write these down. Yeah, cool. Uh, OK, so we had reading. Uh, oh, pub. Pub. Yeah, uh, Mike's always so tired after finishing work there that he must be having a lot of fun. I like flash mobs. Really? You? Yes. I did one the other day. Started dancing in the supermarket. Oh, yeah, I wondered what you were doing. <laughs> yes, I assume you were doing this by yourself and no one joined in. Can't be sure. He was by himself, yeah. I was lost in the rhythm. Doing the right thing in the right way. Yes! I mean, that's a good start. Ha! You love that! And you don't want to admit it. OK, yeah. OK. Uh, so, uh, pranks. Laughing yeah. at pranks. Uh, t tripping up but not falling over. Uh, having an unexpected nap. Uh, leapfrog. Um, big cats, party games, uh, trees in winter, uh, finding money on the floor, CCTV cameras, uh, saying pen or chocolate. Yeah, good, great, very, very good list, Stephen. <sighs> and you got flash mobs. Uh, yep. Okay. Pen chocolate. What's that last one you just scribbled out? Sex. Okay. I like sex. I got carried away by Stephen's enthusiasm. I carry you away, Claire. OK. Yeah, but then I remembered that Mike doesn't like sex now, so, you know, maybe it's not fun. So I scribbled it out. Oh, maybe we could put swimming, because uh, that is what Mike does instead of spending time with me. Swimming. Good. <laughs> oh, in the spirit of sharing too much, I'm thoroughly uncomfortable. So... We need to come up with an activity that incorporates all these things. Uh, sex and magazines and finding money on the floor. No, it's good without sex. Let's no just sex. focus on trying to come up with something fun to try out. Oh, and then we could try it out on Victoria next door. Yes, good. Give her a good taste of charity fun before she invests. No way. She hates me. She hates this charity. She's obsessed with her lawnmower. She is always writing articles that are just damning indictments of me. Look, I will literally burn this charity to the ground and ruin all your future careers before I deal with that woman. What? Is that yours? Not if I have to bend down to pick it up, it isn't. Uh, OK, I'll get it, but you have to look at me while I pick it up, OK? You're lucky I like you. If this was John right now... Flash mob! Flashing all over you! Flashmark! And no chocolate! Uh, we're just doing something fun to prove that Africa Aid are fun, fun, fun! That was not a rebuttal, that was a damning indictment. It's not a catchphrase, it's just something I said. Your charity is worthless, and you're wasting your time and mine. Right. OK, I actually do happen to agree with you on that last point, but... I also sort of want to prove you wrong because your face makes me want to punch it. Keep this up and I'll have CCTV installed and report all of you the minute you trespass. OK? Right, good, good. Uh, 
oath. It'll all run smoothly. Now, John, no one's going to know their cue lines like no one knows you're planning a flash mob. And look, mate, I don't want to stress you out, but... You